Hello and welcome, my name is Jams and today we're bringing to you a Honey Badger best class setup uh, for Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, I've actually got two, well the sim same class setup, uh, Specialist Streaks and also Assault Streaks, but also two different guns, well the same gun Honey Badger but with different attachment. Um, so the first one is going to be Extended mags and grip because uh, it gives you more ammo so you can just you can get sort of like double triple quad sprees if, s feeds if you want to um, it also gives you a lot better accuracy with the having the full grip on there um, on this class I also take a Semtex so you can sort of nade an objective from a distance you don't have to worry about actually having to get there and shoot them off of it on this class um, onto the perk so the first perk I've taken is ready up so that when you're sprinting around you don't get caught off guard by by someone, you know, running around a corner or something. You you'll be the first, you'll be the person to have your gun up first. Uh quick draw because the aim down sights time with the honey badger is extremely slow. So that always helps with winning gunfights as well. Um dead silence so you don't sound like an elephant running around the map, uh so you can keep quiet and people will not be able to sound for you so much unless they have amplify and decent headset. Um, I also take marathon so you can get around the map quickly because I found I tried it without marathon and it was slow paced. I wasn't getting many kills. I wasn't able to get round behind and take advantage of the built in silencer, um, which is what you want to be doing with this class. So yeah, you've got to take marathon, I'd recommend it. And obviously, focus is a necessity on this class because you need to have focus to be able to win those 50-50 gunfights without flinching up in the air, having your crosshairs aiming at the freaking sky or something. Um, the streaks I take are IMS Sentry, Sentry Gun and Battle Hind, which is a 4, a 7 and a 9. Um, I use these because the IMS and the Sentry help you to hold down a particular little area and the Battle Hind helps you to, well it helps just to get kills when if you're holding down an area it helps you to get kills over the other side of the map or something like that you actually having to go over there. Um, the second class setup is for people who are who have fast trigger fingers um, it's grip and semi-automatic uh, which is obviously the one shot so you, every time you tap the trigger it's it's just one bullet coming out of your gun. Um, the perks of having this as opposed to the extended and grip is that it has no recoil at all and it kills in like three or four bullets so sometimes two if you get a headshot you might get a lucky one um, I use the same lethal and the same perks for the class so it's exactly the same um, if you're gonna use specialist and you're gonna be going for those chems the perks I recommend using are hardline is your first one um, because then you can get the next streak faster and obviously you get two assists it counts as a kill um, scavenger so that when you're on a high streak you don't all of a sudden run out of ammo or you know just it will help you get that specialist bonus that you need and help you get that chem strike because if you're running out of ammo you need to rush for a gun or something you're going to put yourself at risk of dying so having scavenger is a good thing to have um, if for the specialist bonus, I use slight hands so you do not get caught out on the reloading. Um, as the honey badger actually reloads quite quickly, uh, quite slowly in comparison to other guns. Um, I use agility so that when when you're in the middle of somewhere and you're in danger, you can quickly get away from that. Um, I use amplify so you can sound whore when you're on high streak. So I didn't take. I would normally take Amplify over Marathon in this case, but I felt the Marathon was so necessary and obviously Amplify it is a good perk, but it's not 100% necessary. You don't need to sound hole. It's, it's helpful, but getting around the map is more helpful because what's the point in sound hoeing someone if you cannot run to get there? Um, so I've sacrificed the Amplify in my main perks for the Marathon for that purpose and um, that reason. And then the last one is ping, so obviously so that it sends out that radar ping and you can see everyone around the enemy that you killed and you can take them out before they realise you're even there. Um, yeah, so that's that concludes my class setup, my personal best setup for the um, Honey Badger. Um, 
if you could please let me know in the comment section below uh, whether you like this class if you tried it out give me like what some feedback on what you think of the class um, yeah so if you've got any recommendations for another gun that you'd like me to cover uh, if you're struggling with what attachments to use or what perks are the best for which gun just you know say it in the comment sections below below and I will get into using them on my online and um, I'll see which ones I find are the best and you can try them out and we'll see if I, I can help you um, yeah so thank, thanks for watching the video um, I've been Jams, uh, the gameplay in the background was on not the new, I've li I've just got the season pass um, so I have never played on this map before, this was my first ever game on this map, I've seen it on YouTube and other YouTubers playing on it but I've never personally played on it so I thought it was quite a good it was quite a good play from on my part from it and it, I sort of I tried to show how the IMS the Sentry and the Battlehind can help you literally get so much map control even if you're just staying in one little area um, yeah so thanks for watching the video I have been Jams as always um, yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe for more of my content and remember to post in the comments for what you, gun you want me to cover next yeah thanks for watching bye